Welcome back, everybody. You know, hundreds of schools throughout Davidson County look and operate better thanks to the program Tools for Schools. You know all those little bright yellow tennis balls you see on the foot of the chair legs in our elementary schools? Well, we have Tools for Schools to thank for that. Just one of hundreds of improvement projects members of the organization have done over the years in Nashville public schools and facilities. Here to tell us more is the board secretary, Denise Sessler, and volunteer project leader, Bill Ferris, welcome to you, you both. Thank you. We're happy to be here. Well, it's wonderful to have you. And those tennis balls that I just mentioned, Denise, did you tell me we may have Bill to thank we for that? We do of that? have Bill to thank for that largely. So it was an idea that the, the <laughs> crew at Tools for Schools came up with after some requests from teachers. You know, the little tennis balls, they silence the chairs yes. and they make a smooth transition for the students. And Mr. Ferris took it upon himself to approach some of the local country clubs um, and ask for some of their used tennis ball donations. And 6,000 tennis balls later um, we've outfitted how many schools we don't, I don't even know I how many couldn't schools. tell you how many schools <laughs> at no cost but we've whatsoever. done we've been in existence 10 years uh -huh. but over all that time we've done 6,500 tennis oh, balls oh my goodness and that just last amazing. week we delivered 600 Wow yes. Denise let's take folks back to the beginning okay. if, if you're not familiar with with national tools for schools Tell me how it got started and the, the mission of this organization. Well, the mission of the organization, if you look on our website, which is um, NashvilleToolsForSchools.com, you'll see that it's called Building for Our Children's Future. And it was all started by a gentleman named John Carpenter, a wonderful man who's now retired. Um, and he was helping to do some uh, repair work at Hillsborough High School. And that evolved into him taking on projects for other metro schools that he was doing in his mother-in-law's basement. <laughs> so then, you know, business started building a little bit more and so then he approached um, Hillsborough High School which luckily had some unused vocational space in one of their annex buildings on their property and so in 2009 he set up with some other volunteers all of our people are volunteers no paid employees uh, set up a fully equipped workshop um, in that property and uh, we uh, are at the generosity of Metro uh, Public Schools. We pay no rent, no utilities. It's all uh, free space provided to us so that any funds we raise or any donations we get can go directly towards building the products that we uh, that provide is, to the schools. That is awesome. So we've been there since 2009, and in 2010, we received our 501c3 certification, so we're an, a tax-exempt organization. So any donations we receive are, of course, tax-exempt. That is just it's wonderful. It's just been wonderful. And the evolution has been just amazing. Uh -huh. There's not many schools in Metro that they haven't done a project for now. And the projects started out uh, simply like as tables or doing some repairs on site and they have expanded to garden beds, picnic tables, uh, shelving, like, uh, garden, yeah. there's a garden yeah, there's bed a right, garden there. right there. Uh -huh. And you know they outdoor classrooms so t children can learn about gardening and science, um, uh, what, uh, smart board uh, platforms yeah. for students to use. Um, they've done um, uh, sets for school plays. I mean, they have so customized what they do that if a teacher or a principal or a school brings them a need, they find a way to get it done. Wow. And at little to no cost. That is wonderful. It is. Bill, how long have you been a volunteer? Because prior to the show, <laughs> we were laughing and talking, and you seem like you've probably been there from the beginning, because you've got no, lots of great no, ideas. No, but I, I have truly embraced, the, you know, what these guys do. Yeah. I was a banker for 44 years, and I retired on a Monday, June 15, 2015, and I showed up on Tuesday morning to say I was interested, and they signed me up, and in 15 minutes I had a paintbrush. <laughs> and I've been back, you know, every day since, oh. and we worked Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays mm -hmm. from about 7.30 to noon every day and really crank out the projects for the school system. Oh my goodness. And from start to finish, they take, they'll meet with the teacher or the principal, whoever's requesting the project, they'll go out to the school, meet with them, develop a plan if it's something that requires a, yeah. a, a large level of construction or whatever, and they see it through all the way to the end. They do a purchase order, they, they uh, secure at, at minimum cost the materials that are needed to, to complete the project, and that's all the school is charged for, with just a small just upcharge to cover things like, you know, insurance and like glue, nail guns, things of that nature. But they're only pay they're not paying for uh, oh labor at all. Goodness. Well, how many volunteers are there other than we you? We have about seventeen right now. Okay. Regular ones. Regular but ones. But then they're all they're not all there at one time. Well, right. One guy only comes on Wednesdays. We have uh, we have a lady doctor. Mm -hmm. that uh, comes whenever she can. Mm -hmm. 
Um, she's right now at, at the VA. Mm -hmm. But uh, do you have to have any sort of building experience or any sort of experience in working on things? You didn't learn that stuff as a banker. <laughs> That's true. But I know. We have we have some folks who are hobbyists. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one individual who's a retired CPA. That's correct. And he has brought in a wealth of knowledge on how to do things a little bit better. They uh, like to have people with a basic knowledge of, of basic tools, mm -hmm. but they're also very willing to help eager volunteers, you know, yes. learn. And it's great. Well, how are your funds raised? How do you get your donations? Or do you, you just depend on our the community? Well, so about 75% of our, we have an annual budget that runs anywhere over the last three years from around thirty-five dollars to $40,000. 75% of that is from the charges that we do give to the schools, okay. which is just for materials. Right. And then the other approximately 25% um, is from grants and donations. We've received grants annually from the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee, um, the Predators, oh. who also came out for a couple of great work days at our shop. Um, uh, Schneider Electric has been very generous and they also do an annual work day and, a, and have a sponsored school that they okay. do work projects so for. So that their staff comes out? Their staff comes that? out, yeah. They bring their staff out for a big work day and then they also donate monetarily. Um, and we use those grant funds. Um, Woodmont Christian Church has also given us grants and we've some secured some other grants too. And West End United Methodist West Church. Okay. Methodist, that's correct. And so those grant funds um, go to some of the community to achieve schools that, um, uh, due to budgetary constraints and maybe not as much local community support, mm -hmm. really need any any additional funds that they can. And so we oftentimes, if we can, make no charge at all there and just provide the service. And if we can, just use the grant funds to and pay for with it. The predators, bless their good-hearted souls. Yeah. You know they they want to see to it that the money helps. Correct. Where where do we spend their money? Right. And you've got a teacher who says. I'll be paying for this project out of my pocket. Right. Wow. And we're trying and to And so we that. tell them, your $400 bill invoice has been covered Ugh. by the, the churches or the predators or Snyder. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, you, you know, it's yeah. fabulous. The amount of money that you're saving our Nashville schools probably is invaluable. It is. And There's it's, no way to calculate no. it. There is an and. It's quality products mm -hmm. meant to last put together by unpaid but very skilled volunteers oh, who, yes. who are who are devoted to doing anything they can anything yeah. they can to enrich the learning environment for the students at, in the schools. Well, if someone wants to be a volunteer, maybe wants to help out and, and get on board. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're retired, Bill, and building getting to enjoy We're like all you retired. Say you got, well, the CPA except for, and except, except for the lady doctor. She's okay. the only one who's not, not retired. <laughs> okay. Well, what if someone did want to volunteer, though? Well, if you go to our website, there is a, a volunteer tab, okay. and Bob Johnson, one of our project managers, will be back in touch with them with uh, in short order to help yeah. them set up. Okay. We, not only do we have individuals who volunteer, but we have groups. Who, we've had the Tennessee Valley Authority out. Okay. We've had University of Virginia volunteers. We've had uh, Vanderbilt. Uh, uh, their engineering group has volunteered multiple times. So a lot of times we have groups of people who want to come as well, and so um, they try to work out times. And and it might not always be during our regular business hours. Right, Sometimes right. they do special work dates if needed um, and try to accommodate those groups whenever we can because we love having their support. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So if a school wanted to have something done and they maybe wanted tool to, for schools to help them out, mm -hmm. what, what would the school or the facility need to do? They can go ahead. Yeah. They go to our website. Okay. And, there, and, and there's a link there that says, you know, w what do you need, okay? And a week doesn't go by that we don't get something from our website mm -hmm. saying I'm in the need for and you know bless the teachers they know how to teach but they don't they're not you know construction people <laughs> right. so we got to call them back and say just how big of this cabinet do you want <laughs> you know how many shelves do you need yeah and what space is it going into I so we, then we have an idea and we go out and help them Bill what would be your favorite thing to do do you like building oh I just you know I got into this because I've, you know, I've done about 20 habitat houses, and I just love doing this. And a lot of our people also volunteer for habitat. Okay. But using tools, and I'm out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> that is so All good. of us are out of the house, you know, and they're all having fun. Well, you all do such great work. I could talk to you all day, and I would love to maybe even volunteer for a couple of your projects. Thank you so much for coming on, and we want to make sure people get that website one more time. 
um, NashvilleToolsForSchools.com. And there's also photographs of projects that we've done, okay. and so people can see some of the projects that we've already done. And that's how teachers get ex ideas for, oh, I might want one yes, of those. Exactly. Or I need that. Or, well, thank so. you both for the work that you do, and thank you for being here. I also want to thank my earlier guest, Doris Walker. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.